Hi guys, it's Brittany and I'm going to show you how to do one of the templates for the remediation process on ATI um, or you could do templates on your own as well. They're a really good way to study the ATI content um, because it is really general content that you'll probably see on the NCLEX. So definitely if you don't need to do remediation and you just want to do templates, this is not a bad idea. So uh, my latest adult med search test 2019, I got 80%, but we can go to study materials here. And these are all of the questions, the concepts that I missed on this exam. So let's say I want to look at um, pharmacological and parenteral therapies. So we'll go to the study materials. We'll begin this here. And it'll take us into the ATI textbook. And here it'll show you these concepts that you missed and over here when you like click down on one and we go here it'll take me to this chapter 40 blood and blood product transfusions so this is one of the questions that i missed it had to do with blood and blood product transfusions and the template for this is going to be a therapeutic procedure so we can click here on therapeutic procedure and usually your professor will have you handwrite these. Uh, handwriting has just been proven to help you retain information better. So what you'll want to do is print this out. You can download it here and then print it out. You can also type directly in here so you can put your name here. Um, just keep in mind that like they it won't let you type a lot. So like that's all it'll type. It won't let me type character limit in each of these boxes. So what you'll want to do is print it out. Put your name when you handwrite it, put your name, the procedure name. So for me, it's going to be the blood product and blood transfusion and then review chapter. We were on don't want to say this. We were on chapter 40 and the good thing about printing that out is that you won't have to go back and forth between the template and the textbook that it has. So what we'll do is the description of the procedure why they would get the, the procedure of blood transfusion, which is your indications, outcomes and evaluation, potential complications, which there would be a lot, so you would have a lot to put in this box, um, and the nursing interventions for those potential complications, which is good. And then here in this box, there's kind of two sub boxes for considerations. So you want to put nursing interventions, what you would do before, during, and after the blood administration, and then the client education you'd provide for the patient during the blood administration. And you'll handwrite these and then scan them and upload them for your remediation process. Now, some professors have the amount that you need to do based on the level that you earn for your proctor assessment. Um, and sometimes they just have a time limit for how long you should be spending in this process. Like, let's say I got a level two. I don't need to do the remediation templates, but I do need to do two hours of a focused review. So here I can see that I've spent two minutes in this textbook doing a focused review, reviewing these concepts, making sure that I know what I need to know for this blood transfusion. And it has my time tracked up here, two minutes and 52 seconds. Now let's say I'm done with the blood product and transfusion. I can go to one of these other three. Um, I still have blood product and transfusions here. So I, I missed a couple questions up on this exam. Um, and then another area for angina and myocardial infarction. So I can go and I can do a template for that. And these templates are different. They have like six or seven different templates. So for this one, we would do the concept is angina, the review chapter module. I didn't see what chapter it was, but you can see this one's a little bit different than the therapeutic procedure template. So you want to print this one out separately and then you want to fill out these boxes just the same as you had for the other one. And it'll just help you understand and know the information better. So you can see here, let's say I've done both those templates. I've done my uh, uh, 30 minutes filling out those templates for just these three questions, but I need to have two hours and I need 12 templates. So we'll close out of this, take us back to the page here, and we can go under, should pop up everything still, what we were studying. 
OK, so it still popped up. We're studying the RN adult medical surgical. And you can see that I accessed right here pharma pharmacological and parental therapies. And it'll tell me when I accessed it. So I know that I did that section. Now I'm going to look at another section. And let's say I missed uh, I missed five questions in physiological adaptation. So I'm going to go and do some templates for this section here, these kind of questions. So you go in here and you can see your timer is still going for three minutes. So you can do all of your templates. And then once you get to that time limit that your professor has, let's say it's usually two hours is what I've seen. Once you have that two hours, you've done all your templates or at least two hours and you've done all your templates. You can go here. And we can go to the results tab. And now it shows you my score that I got. And it also shows you the time I spent in the remediation process. And this is what you're going to want to show the professor when they ask for that two hours of remediation. You're going to want to get a either a screenshot of this or you can download this report. It should show you on here. Oh, I guess it doesn't show you on here on the report, uh, but you can screenshot this, not a problem. What I like to do is um, I have a surface so I can go to this little clip art. I can clip out, you know, this random stuff that I don't need in here. And just so that it's easy for the professor to find, usually I like to highlight my name and whatever they're asking for. So like if that's two hours um, and then I can save that and upload this as a picture or a PDF file along with my templates into that Dropbox for the remediation Dropbox for your ATI. Okay, thanks guys.